Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience and thank you to the chairman for lending me his chair. I feel important. So um, I want to continue, Mr. Wolf and uh, Mr. Hamilton, because your your opinion is is highly highly important. And as I was telling you, I am your ally. I am on your side. I, I want to accomplish the same goals as you. Let me just um, give you a couple of ideas, and I want you to tell me, Mr. Wolf, what do you think of what I'm going to tell you? Let's suppose that by um, we have the ability to seal the border with the best technology. Seal the border, best technology, whether it's structure or whether it's um, high towers and infrared cameras, whatever technology is out there. We can increase the number of border patrols. We can increase the uh, administrative judges. We can increase immigration judges. We stop catch and release. Everyone that is claiming asylum um, goes into something called a humanitarian campus for 60 days. And over there, we'll have enough personnel to determine if they could if they are granted the asylum, and if they are not, they, they will be returned home. What do you think about that idea? Sorry. Uh, a number of those are obviously hypothetical situations. I think a number of them uh, certainly deserve merit to look at further. But I'm saying that let's suppose that it's, it's doable. You seal the border, you create humanitarian centers, five of I think them along. I mean, yeah. it's, it sounds, sounds correct, right? I think it's a yes. All right. So let's suppose that we can do that, and then at some point we can then look inside and determine what are we going to do with the illegals. Do you think that we could uh, do that and at the same time give some type of not path to citizenship, not immediate citizenship to the illegals, but some type of work, go home for Christmas, don't get deported, don't get any federal programs, buy your own health insurance. Do you think that maybe we could, we could work something out? Do you think that, there, that there's appetite in, and, uh, in this party and in people like you in very high positions when it comes to immigration in something like that? It's important. Your opinion is very important, so that's why I'm asking you. Yeah, I think that's certainly a, a, an issue that Congress needs to deal with. I think what you said initially is very, very important, that you have to close these loopholes, and there are many that continue to incentivize. So if you deal with the illegal population here today, but yet in two years or three years from now, you let another 10, 20 million in because the loopholes continue, you haven't solved anything. Okay, so stop, very, stop very right important. there. But we will have sealed the border with the best technology there is. It's not just technology, it's also policies. And what do you mean by policy? Well, we, we, we can go down the line. You've got to have right. MPP. You've got, you know, if you're not detaining everyone, uh, MPP is certainly there. You've got to address the asylum system. If you well, I just told everyone. you, the, but I just, I just told you, sir, the asylum system is going to be addressed by everyone who is coming and claiming asylum needs to go into something called a humanitarian center. It's not going to go get lost in Miami. Right. It's going to stay there for 60 days. Do you like that idea? That's good. That ends and completely ends and stops. I like the idea the of addressing the asylum process very quickly, and if it's within 60 days 60 or 90 days, I, I am for addressing the asylum process quickly. So you are in favor of keeping people for 60 days, and you're in favor of sealing the border? I am in favor of addressing the asylum system and making sure we get those who need protections quickly and those who don't need Go to home. be removed correctly. And then increasing border patrol? and increasing the judges and increasing administrative immigration, administrative personnel. I think all of those would help That's the asylum helps, right? system. So then if that were to be in place, then what are we going to do with the people who have been here for more than five years, don't have any type of criminal records? What are we going to do with the illegal population? I think that's basically something that you told me that is challenging. So what is your idea? What do we do I, with I think that? it's a, it, that's only a question that Congress can answer because Congress can provide them either certain protections and certain benefits, if you're talking about work authorization, whatever it, whatever it may be, that's certainly That's what I'm trying to do, but I need people like you to support ideas like mine because your opinion is I, highly I'm estimated. Hi <laughs> I'm highly skeptical that we can get to the first part of your equation there. But with, there's with no way that we can get to completely. the third if we don't have the first one sealed, which is sealing the border. So that's why I'm saying we agree. 
We agree. You just have to do it. And stopping catch and release and not gaming the asylum system. Thank you very much. And sorry, I, um, I, yeah. So votes have been called on the floor. So without objection, the committee will stand in recess and reconvene once the votes have ended.